So before FPU, um, I moved out here on my own. Um, I'm from Detroit. And so coming to Jersey City and Hoboken, it was quite a culture shock, both financially and I guess socially. Um, and so I really was not in a great position financially just because to come out here, you're living on your own. I don't have a car anymore. I have to pay all my bills, you know, and buy all my food and I can't rely on my parents anymore. So that was a big shock. And, you know, it did get to a point that it was more paycheck to paycheck for me. I would say I was not good at budgeting. I, um, just knowing what I could spend my money on. And I still had that mentality, like I wanna go out with friends, like, oh, I just got invited to go on a trip. Like, I can do that, let's put it on the credit card. And I definitely, um, I was that person in school that I got like a credit card and I wasn't paying it off monthly and that snowballed and I, you know, I did get into debt and I carried that around and it was always an anxiety for me um, because, you know, even when I'd look at it a mo every month and um, I'd get those notifications like you're overdue or anything like that, it was, it was very stressful and um, I, I'm very prideful and I could not bring myself to, you know, tell my parents like, hey, I have X amount of debt on my credit card, like I don't know how I'm gonna pay it off and can you help me? Because I knew that they were gonna like look at me and kind of be like, what the heck are you doing? Why, why is this? We've taught you better than this. So when we decided to take FPO, um, my husband, um, at the time we were dating, and we had decided, you know, this would be good to take because we were looking at the next steps of engagement and marriage and so we wanted to be on the same page and we were like okay if we do this now while our finances are separate um, we can really see where we're sitting going into all these next steps of life so that's really what kind of progressed us to get into it and then once we took the class it was very eye-opening because we had to be very transparent with each other and some of the stuff like he didn't know how much credit card debt I carried and I didn't know how much his student loans were so I think that was like we didn't combine our finances until we were married but it was good knowing okay like my stuff is going to go towards his student loans or his stuff is going to go towards my debt and we have to help each other pay that off i'm no longer looking at just supporting myself i have to think of this in the big picture after that you know we we really got on a page where we sat down we planned our budget out okay what can we do what can we not do what do we want to start saving for so that was really good discussions that we were able to have between us and then you know just through budgeting we've been able to consistently like stay on top of things pay our bills and have that freedom and not have the anxiety of you know debt hanging over us although we still have some stuff to pay off it's not nearly what it was a couple years ago so I think it's given us a good foundation for where we are today and just um, and looking forward to how we manage our finances in the future.